Hey guys, how's it going today? My name is Cheyenne Blewett, and this is my very first YouTube video. So welcome. I hope you're having a great day, and let's do this thing, okay? All right, so my channel is really going to be kind of a few different things. So I'm going to do some vlogs, so really just fun things like, you know, random vlogs people always do, okay? Like... I don't have any good ideas now. Let's not try to overwhelm me because it's my first video and I've got a lot of time to think. Another thing I'm going to be doing on my channel is I really want to be a motivational speaker when I grow up. Which I mean, I guess I'm a grown up now. But you know what I mean. Like my all time goal job is going to be motivationally speaking. It's an outlet so I can go ahead and start doing some things, being motivational here and there. Sprinkling some little motivational ideas and things to you on YouTube, so we're gonna do it. Also, I just got my nails done. I'm obsessed, Halloween time. <laughs> okay, so, what I want my first video to be. I, there's a lot of things that I'm very passionate about. So, I mean, kinda hearing me talk, I'm a very animated person. I love to talk, I love to be fun, just, <laughs> you know, all that fun stuff. Okay. Okay, I think today what we're gonna talk about is something that I'm very, very passionate about, which is dreaming. And not dreaming in the sense of, okay, I'm asleep, dream, 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 no. Kind of like that Shark Boy and Lava Girl song, you know, it's like, dream, 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 dream. No, not like that. I'm talking about the dreams you think about that you wanna do in your life. Oh, it just gets me all excited because I've always been a dreamer. Ever since I was a kid, I've been that person that's like, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to be president someday, which I'm definitely not because it's not a job I want to do. I can barely run like my own life. I can't run the country, just saying. So, I have always had so many dreams, you know. I want to be president. I want to do this. I want to do that. Uh, 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 forever. And so I want to go back, all the way, think back to me from when you were a child, okay? When you were in kindergarten and someone asked you what did you want to be, what did you say? Think about it. Okay. Some kids were very, were just very, they knew. I want to be a police officer when I grow up. I want to be a doctor. I want to help babies. I want to teach. I want to do all of these things. And they just knew. Point blank, that's what I want to do. And then you had other kids like me who said, I want to be the president of the United States. Or I want to have my very own TV show and be a very famous pop singer. I bet you guys can guess who said that. I can't even sing. So, I don't know. Whatever. Sorry, little Cheyenne. That's definitely not happening. 80% of the kids said something really awesome, really dreamworthy that you just wanted to do, right? Oh my gosh, there's a stink bug right there. Oh, I don't want to move the camera because it took me forever to get here. But... Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make it mad. Cats! Do get the stink bug. Sorry. Refocusing. Go back to someone asked you the same question when you're in high school. A lot less of the people are going to say crazy, fun, dreamy, outlandish things. And they're going to say, you know, whatever pays the bills. Or, I still want to be a doctor, I want to be a police officer, I want to run my own business, things of that nature. But you still have some of the dreamers who still say, you know, I want to be an actress. I had a girl in high school I went to, she was such a great actress. We, she did every single play, she was in a little commercial, she was just amazing and I always looked up to her because acting isn't an easy thing to do but she was so sure, she's like, I'm gonna do this. I'm like, you go girl, follow those dreams, yes! We're all about dreams over here. Edison, get out of my purse. No. Then you get to college, okay? And I want to say it's like 90% like serious, 10% dreamers. So you have the 90%, you ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they're like, well, I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to be a doctor. Hopefully I'll get into HR and make good money and provide for my family. A lot of times you get those answers. And you still have some people who's like me, who say, I'm going to be an author, I'm going to be an actress, I'm going to be a motivational speaker, I'm going to change the world, yada, yada, yada. But the chances of those things, slim. And not slim in the fact that it's not going to come true, but slim in the fact that people will say them. And what I want to know is why do we have to change the way we think? 
you know, I understand you grow up and become more of a realist because you see the world. And the world's kind of crazy, you know. We need to make money to provide for families regardless if you have kids or if you have cats like me. I have five cats. I'm kind of a crazy cat lady. A dog. You don't want to have kids if you want to have a family. You want to adopt. Whatever. You just have. You just know that you have to provide for yourself and have a good life, have good money to get things that you want. It's just sad to me how we go from being these super excited, dreaming, awesome people who want to do so many great things, and then it's like, well, I'm gonna sit in an office all day, nine to five, make money, go home, and just do nothing. What? Why do we have to be like that? We don't. Who am I to tell you all these things? I'm just a girl. But I just really feel like we shouldn't give up so easily. You know, yes, it's very important for us to make good livings, but you can do that and still be a dreamer. I'll tell you a little bit about me. I, fresh out of 18, I went into the military and I worked for the guard full time. 19 years old, I was making 35,000 a year, which is really good. I live in a small town in Illinois. That's amazing money, especially being fresh out of high school in the military banging money you know I was living on my own I had a boyfriend I could shop when I wanted it was great and after a couple years of that I realized that I wasn't happy I didn't want to sit at a desk all day and do the same stuff every day look at the same people no offense to the people I really liked the people I worked with they were really good people who just they loved doing what they did but I didn't love doing that but when I quit that job so many people told me you're an idiot Cheyenne you just quit this job making all this money. You can go from 35, eventually you could be making 100 grand a year. Why are you gonna be stupid and you're gonna leave that for some dream? That kind of made me realize that it doesn't matter what you feel or what you think. All that matters is they will always hate, always. But my biggest thing is I will never stay in a job for the money if I'm not happy because happiness is worth so much more to me than money. There is a lot of people who don't think that way. A lot of people think, you know, as long as I make good money, I can do good things, have nice things, and I can be happy. I'm on the other side of that. Because I believe that if I do things I'm passionate about, like motivationally speaking to YouTubers, then eventually money will come. So I'm gonna tell you some of my biggest dreams. I'm gonna put them all out there so you guys can be like, girl, ugh, reel it in. But no, because I'm a dreamer. But the difference is, is you can't just sit and you can't just dream, you have to work your ass off to get there so me I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel since I was like 13 and YouTube started to be kind of cool granted I'm glad I did it when I was 13 because I was pretty dumb and I would not want to see some of these videos fun fact if you go on Twitter and look up my name or my maiden name which if you figure that out look it up there's a little Twitter of me 13 thinking I look cute I'm like girl and I can't delete it because I don't know the password ah! So I hope that's it the rest of my life so I can look back and just laugh at it. Anyways. Oh, I forgot my train of thought. 13. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I was 13 and I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. Even last year, I told all my Instagram followers, all 325 of them, that I was going to start a YouTube channel. And a lot of them were like, yeah, you go. I would love to watch you on YouTube. And I didn't. Granted, I couldn't figure out the YouTube program or like the um, the video editor program. So this is posted. I finally figured it out. High five me. Yes. But so many people were like, don't do YouTube. That's so stupid. No one's going to want to watch you. And I'm like, okay, thanks for your input. I'm going to do it anyway. Because who are they to tell me what I can and can't do? No matter what you do, you'll have haters. But if it's your dream and if you work hard enough, it can come true. Ugh! Rachel Hollis, if you have not read Rachel Hollis's books, regardless if you're male or female, you need to because she's so motivational and so inspiring and just, ugh, I can't even, I love her so much. My goal one day is to meet her. Maybe we can collab on like a blog or something. I don't know. It'll happen. So anyway, so if it's your dream, you should be able to work hard enough to get there. Don't be one of those people who were like, well, used to be me, not me anymore, but used to be me, who are like, I want to do this, this is my dream, and then don't do anything to make it happen. You know, I, like I said, I've been wanting to do YouTube forever, and I'm finally, I just got a nice camera, Robbie's kind of mad at me, and I'm 
doing this video, I'm gonna try and figure out the video editor, because this is my dream, is to do this. And I'm gonna do it, regardless of what they do. I don't want you to look back when you're 80 and think, damn, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I pursue that dream? Because I'd be worried about what other people said, or because people told me not to. Ignite your fire. Ignite your fire. Because if you just sit around and let life pass you by, you only get one life. If your dream, it might not even be big. I mean, okay, all dreams are big, but it might not be something that's hard to attain. You know, maybe your dream is to be a mother, okay? And maybe you've never had a boyfriend or anything and you don't know if you're gonna get married. That doesn't mean you can't be a mother. You could be a pet mother, you could adopt, you could get surrogacy. There's so many different options, but don't let you or other people stop you because you are your number one hater, basically. Like, I'm my number one hater because I sit and I think, what are they going to think when they watch my YouTube videos? What are they going to think when I publish my book and everyone thinks it's stupid? What's going to happen if I ever make it on TV and everyone hates my movie? You need to think, who gives a crap? Who cares what they think? Because you're doing what you love. And if you pour your heart and your soul into that dream, goal, whatever, it will be okay. Obviously, I'm talking about good dreams. You know, if your dream is to, like, make it on Snapped, maybe you should not follow that one. I'm talking about the dreams that are going to help you, your, your mom, your dad, the world, anybody. I don't know. This is all just a bunch of gibberish. But, you know, your dream, like I said, can be attainable. I want to be a mom. I want to open a business. I want to own a house. You know, I want to have a good job where I can make my own hours. All of those things are attainable. Even the ones that are like, I want to save a million dollars. Dave Ramsey, look him up. Or I want to sneeze right now. That was gross. Like, one of my biggest dreams is I want to have millions of people look up to me in a way. Not, like, follow me on YouTube. I want to inspire millions of people to be better and to follow their dreams and just to be happy and not let life pass them by. And that's so hard to be attained. You know, saying that out loud, it gives me goosebumps saying, like, what are these people going to think of me? And then I sit back and I say, take my own advice. Who cares what these people say? If my dream is to have millions of people look up to me and to be a motivational speaker and inspire the world and inspire change, then I'm going to do it. Maybe not in two years. Maybe not in ten years. Maybe it'll be like I die and then people find all these videos hidden and they're like, wow. And I don't even know because I'll be dead. Who knows? All I know is if I work hard enough, I work my booty off, I will get there. And you need to have the same mindset as me. Don't let setbacks set you back too far. Things happen. I am trying to finish a book right now and I'm at 42 pages. Awesome. And my goal is to have it done by the end of the year, but the juice has stopped flowing for me. So I'm taking a break. Who cares if my goal is to have it done by the end of the year and I won't. Don't put a time limit on your goals because you have so much life to live. You know, granted not every day is guaranteed and we shouldn't be grateful for the days that we have, but it is okay to take a break. It's okay to live life, but never let go of your idea or your dream. Because at the end of the day, if you don't do it, it's just gonna hurt you. And don't you wanna live your life to the fullest and be happy and say, I conquered my dream? I would. And I can't wait to the day when I say, I did everything I wanted to. Maybe not everything, and I'm sure dreams will change the older I get and the more life I live, but I don't know. I love the feeling of accomplishment, and you should too. And just because the feeling of accomplishment might not happen for a really, really long time, doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So, takeaways from this video. One, think about your dreams. Don't let them pass you by or don't show them under the rug because they're not realistic or it might take too long, or people judge you, or you don't think you have enough to do it. No, you do. You have enough. You are enough just the way you are. Don't worry about what other people think because they're just haters anyways. Two, you 
can't say you want to do a dream and then never do anything to pursue that dream. You have to, if your dream is to finish your degree, you have to figure out a way to be able to take classes on top of working or taking care of kids or doing anything. You have to make the time to do it. Don't just let it pass you by. Don't just say, I can't do it because I don't have this, this, this. Never ever get stuck in the saying, I will do this when I have more money. Cause you'll never have more money, ever. There's never gonna be a perfect time to do this, except now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do not wait till you have more money because you never will. You might have more money, but you don't have more bills. You know that song, mo money, mo problems. Don't wait. Number three, don't be afraid to pursue your dream at all, okay? You know, some of these dreams that I have, maybe they won't come true and that's okay. Like I said, a lot of my dreams will probably evolve. My dream when I was a kid was to be famous, but now my dream isn't to be famous, it's to be able to help. You know, maybe I'll be famous that way, but I don't wanna be famous for the riches or the money, which would be cool. I wanna be famous so that people can say, that girl's helped so many people. And that's really it, so. I know that was a lot. This is my first video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Many more to come. Um, if you really liked it, subscribe down below. And next time, I don't know. If you have any ideas of things you want me to talk about, comment them, and I'll add them to the list. Let me know if you liked this video. Share with your friends who need to see this. And just don't forget to be the sunshine in your own life and other people's lives.